Welcome to Wine Cellar Plus and today I'm showing the Trimbach Riesling 2009. This is the entry level uh, Trimbach Riesling, um, a house that dates back to the 17th century. The style is very classic. They make a, a drier Riesling where in Alsace them, there is a trend towards more richer, sweeter styles. Uh, so this is bone dry, lovely acidity. Um, it's very well priced, 125 Rand, which I, I think is, um, is good. And it shows the vintage quite nicely, 2009, quite a forward ripe vintage. And it's showing a lot of those um, petroleum notes, lots of uh, um, tropical fruit. And it's just a great drink. So tell me, what is it that makes Alsatian wine super fine? I think it's the continental climate. Um, they have wonderful cool winters, cool nights. Uh, it retains lovely acidity to the wines. Um, they're guarded um, in the west by a high mountain range, so very little weather affects them. Great growing uh, conditions for this style of wine, um, lovely acidity and lovely freshness. Wonderful. And um, would there be the ultimate um, circumstances to drink this wine under? I think it's, um, I mean, it's not uh, extremely expensive. Uh, you could drink it on a regular basis. Great with food and without food because it's got this lovely texture and acidity to it. And uh, typically as Alsatian dishes have a lot of onions um, and quite a bit of garlic. Cuisine is uh, in between that of German and of French. This week I'm presenting the same wine. It's a Rosé 2010 vintage. And um, it uh, comes in at an angle that we're not quite used to in South Africa. Um, it is a rosé, as you can see by the colour, it's slightly darker and it's got a little bit more of a stature, a bit more serious and something really delicious to bring to the table. It's not as uh, delicate as a white wine, not as heavy as a red, but still has those nice red flavours, red components. And it's also quite an interesting blend. It's got Shiraz, Muvada and Trincadero, which is also known as Tinta Morello, a Portuguese grape variety. And it brings a wonderful spicy component, a little bit of licorice. You've got great um, strawberry tones as well. Um, it's really, really interesting. It just keeps on talking to you. Where is this from? Isn't it uh, down south somewhere? It's, uh, it's, it's very close to the Breda River, a newly recognized ward uh, called Malchas. And David de Trafford is the man who discovered uh, this region, who planted the vines, who, who went out on a limb. And I think um, when you taste through the whole portfolio, you can really see that um, he's doing amazing things. You and know, different things. Different things. You know, the, the, the tannin profile, the fruit profile are not, are not typical of, of South African wines. His choice of grape varieties that have planted are also very interesting. Uh, more Mediterranean and Portuguese in style. And that brings those different qualities into the wine. I think it's superb. I really think it's delicious. For 127 Rand, you've got a serious wine that you can drink anytime. So this week we've tasted a Germanic style continental mineral French wine and a South African uh, Mediterranean style serious rosé. Oh, it has such a good perfume.